Evil has always been menacing in Star Wars. In the prequels, you had Count Dooku leading the Separatists, who had a cool and a collective but devious presence to him. He brought experience to the table and that alone was a very dangerous element. Then for the Galactic Empire, you had Darth Vader and Darth Sidious. Darth Vader, while not one for words, he was always a symbol of fear for any Jedi or Rebel who confronted him. He was more machine than man, and his presence on any battlefield always meant doom for his opposition. His master and leader of the Galactic Empire, Darth Sidious, was no laughing matter either. The last remaining master of the Sith, and arguably the strongest Sith ever to have lived, he led his empire through manipulation and massive purging of the Jedi Order. And then finally, the First Order whom was led by Supreme Leader Snoke. A mysterious figure of darkness whom could pull off unimaginary feats of the Force due to his believed ancient origins. He led the First Order from a minuscule remnant to a power worthy of challenging the known galaxy. To be then replaced of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, a man plagued of daddy issues and a creepy obsession to his evil grandfather. After losing to a poor desert orphan girl during her first couple of minutes ever using a lightsaber, he then led several advances to the said girl the next day, only to be rejected each time. Suffice to say, he didn't take it well, and since the First Order has many contacts in the black market on death sticks, well, you can start to paint your own picture here. Hey Supreme Leader, you okay there? Kylo, how many death sticks did you take again? You do realize that won't help you beat that peasant girl in the next movie, right? Ah, Alright then, suit yourself. Meet your Episode 9 villain, folks. <laughs>